it's one thing to see a ghost or a spirit or hear something. It's another thing to actually go looking for those things. I've got David Harkins with me, and he, is, he and his team do just that. You, you all go into, uh, I guess, the, uh, the bear's den while the bear is home a lot of uh, That's what you do. Yeah, you, you could put it that way. Uh, what we do, we do paranormal research and investigation. Uh, we research the history of a location, then we go in, do a formal investigation uh, using scientific methodology and equipment. And through that, we, we will uh, go through our evidence and see if we find anything that kind of corroborates with the history or any of the claims that, say, the homeowner or business owners are making. Uh, I know that uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. You mentioned something that you were part of in Clever. Yes. Uh, we were contacted many years ago by a family who were having some what they claim to be paranormal issues. Uh, their young child, about three years old, was uh, having strange things happen in his bedroom, just toys coming on by themselves in the middle of the night. I guess the final straw for them was one evening they were having supper and the mother and father looked up and saw a Civil War soldier standing, just kind of leaning on their counter in the kitchen. And that, that was it. They, uh, that's when they called us. <laughs> okay, then through all of that, these are claims. What did you find? Probably the most amazing piece of evidence we captured at this location is a photograph of what appears to be three Civil War soldiers kind of huddled together standing near the barn on the property. And it, it's pretty amazing. Did it convince you? Yes, the, and the homeowners are like, that's the guy in the kitchen. That is, that's the guy we saw right there. I mean, they, they pointed him out and the photograph really kind of jives with the description they gave us initially before we went in. Creepy, for yeah. sure. Now, one of the things that impressed me, and I think you also, about the Ozarks Paranormal Society, they try to debunk the idea yeah. that yeah. the place is haunted. They don't go in just looking for something. They go no. in looking for what you're probably They hearing. look at the history yeah. of the place, mm -hmm. everything, to see if things fit and where it might be coming from. So yeah, to see if there's some weird electrical thing. Yeah, well, yeah well, any kind of thing, escaping yeah. gas, you name it. It's something odd, yeah. But you know, a lot of people will not rent an apartment without asking, is it haunted? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had friends that have done that, so these people are busy. Mm -hmm. They go out there and they check it out to see what's going on. Um, I have something else that Dave shared with us. It's some video that's captured in an old mansion in Lebanon that was once a stagecoach stop. Apparently bodies of Civil War soldiers were kept there temporarily as they made their way to their final resting place. This place is even believed that Abe Lincoln may have overnighted there. Um, the team went in when the Ozarks, uh, or rather when the owners claimed that something very odd was happening. And if you look, see, look over to the left, you see that? that it's gonna repeat, uh-huh. This video was apparently captured when the camera was left alone in the darkened room. Look over to the left. There, yeah, that's yeah. kind of creepy. That's real creepy. Mm -hmm. See it moving across mm -hmm. the screen? Mm -hmm. And the, the little squares that you see sort of detect things like movement and heat, but you can see clearly some kind of a strange shadow. So yeah, very unusual for sure. Get out. Get out. <laughs>